Jana Hawking, the real reason women like bad boys. Let's do it. Let's read some of this because it's really good. And you need to know. But that's the backstory. She's 37 years old. She doesn't want kids. She takes heat, she says, for being that age and not wanting kids. <clears throat> She's adamant that she doesn't want it. Great. She says, okay, full disclosure, it was Valentine's night and we had met for a post-work cocktail and commiseration with her girls. <clears throat> we were all single and all have situationships. That's the new word for, uh, you know, sleeping with somebody you don't care about. Nasty. With guys who don't make good partners. So you're doing a situationship, not just with any guy, but a guy you've already decided isn't a good guy. You've already decided that that guy's not a good guy, but you're doing it anyway. Nasty. Okay. It feels a bit naughty. It's experimental because we know it's not going to last. Therefore, we weren't worried about coming across as wife material. And we can be 100% sure we weren't going to do it again. So it's slightly addictive. Matrix programming, by the way. Matrix programming that this somehow feels good for women. It doesn't. It doesn't. Now, this woman may need to convince herself of that because she hit, she's hitting the wall hard, right? 37, terrible age. <laughs> I'm telling you, 36 to 30. No, I'd say 37 to 39 is a woman brutal. Brutal, especially if you're single. I wasn't single at that time, but I know people who were brutal, 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 because the face starts to change. Things start to change in the body hormonally. And you're like, if you're alone, I can't even imagine. I truly can't. Then you've got to convince yourself that you're happy. That's what's going on here. So she's saying that this makes women happy. It doesn't. Women who are going through sex with guys that they don't care about. At 37, you're still doing that? Miserable at your core, unhappy? I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear the nonsense. Here we go. I've really been pondering it since our cocktail-filled chat, and I've come to the conclusion that it could actually be a blessing in disguise. Oh, she's saying sleeping with all these guys, all the bad boys that she knows, she already decided she doesn't like. She already decided that they're not going to make good partners. Oh, that's good for you and for her. Put aside the horrible side effect known as catching the feels. And what you're left with is a fire emoji filled love life. So that catch in the feels that she's saying is rare happens all the time. Most of the time women catch the feels. Then you know what happens? They catch the feels with a bad boy. They come home. They're miserable because that guy's not calling them back. Okay. This is your reality check. We all know the serotonin released after a good romp in the hay can last a full 24 hours. So forget green juices in a good gym session. I'll take the wrong man and a cheeky night. Thanks. She says, can you imagine? After a whopper of a fight last year, this is her and a guy that she was dating at the time, we made up after weeks of not talking. And I tell you, with my hand on my heart, the makeup session was worth every second of the anxiety-ridden few months we didn't talk. She's now trying to convince women that if you have an anxiety-ridden experience in a relationship, you're waiting for that guy to text you back. It's chaos. It's all that. That one night of really good sex. First of all, the sex isn't going to be good, I can tell you right now, because you're not going to feel safe with that guy. You're going to feel like impending anxiety because you know the second it ends, he's going to be out the door. So that's a lie. But she's telling you that even if it's good that night, even if that physical intimacy somehow is good, that it's all worth the anxiety. Oh, don't worry about the anxiety. It's all worth nonsense. This is not true. Guys, you need to know this is not the female experience. Women in the chat, if you're honest, you're going to also say this is not true. This is not true. I had one relationship with a guy who was, my whole life, I had one relationship where somebody was really a hot mess. I didn't stay in it long. I had a lot of anxiety through that situation. I had a lot of like, what is going on here? There was a lot of like, I don't trust him, like in multiple ways. It was, it was horrible. It was, I can tell you that everything about that relationship did not feel good because I did not feel safe in many ways. And I got out of there pretty quick is all I'm going to say. But regardless, it's not pleasant. Like that, that's not the same thing as like, oh, you're in the honeymoon phase with somebody and it's like, will he call me? Oh my God. It's not that. This is a deeply unhealthy way of looking at relationships and justifying your bad behavior, by the way, and your lost in space syndrome and your hitting the wall and panicking that you have to now try to get other women, by the way, to fall in the sinkhole that you're in. You're now trying to get other women to make these mistakes that you've made under the premise that you're somehow happy being rejected repeatedly by guys, sleeping with a bunch of bad boys that you know you don't really like and don't really like you. So this is dishonorable behavior on the part of a woman. You're giving gra bad, horrible advice to other women because you're unhappy and you want company. And that's very sad. Do some self-reflection. You're a grown woman. You're 37 years old. Do better. Do better. You can make whatever decisions you want with your life, whether you want kids or not. But telling women they're somehow going to feel good in this horrible, desperate cycle of trying to get attention from men who they know aren't good for them and who don't care about them, deeply, deeply dishonorable behavior on the part of a female. Sorry to say. So let's see what else we got here. Oh, yeah. Here we go. The good news is this bad boy phase usually wears off, she says at the end. You take them off the pedestal. 
so they, they clearly don't belong on and start to appreciate the good guys. You actually long for a nice date with a guy who adores you. Hmm. So my only advice, if you choose to find yourself a bad boy, don't get pregnant with them. Always wear a condom and know that the relationship has a time limit. Now go treat yourself to some fun between the sheets. That's her advice. Her advice is go sleep with random men who you know aren't good for you and you don't like. Don't get pregnant because, you know, you don't want to be tied to them in any way because you don't you know they're not good. You know they're dirty. So wear that condom and go have some fun. I mean, is this, do not take advice from broken women. Women, don't listen to women like this. You're going to be miserable. You will be miserable. You'll be unhappy. You'll be anxiety ridden. You'll be calling your friends crying at night. You'll feel empty. You'll feel vacant. You'll feel used. And by the way, she probably does too. She's just got to hide it. Chelsea Handler style and try to convince you she's happy. Guys, don't date women like this. Don't date women like this. If a woman is proud of this phase of life that she's talking about, I don't care when it happened. If there is a woman, there, now, there could be women who say, you know what, when I was younger, I did stuff that I regret. I would never do that. I wouldn't want that for my daughter. I wouldn't want that for my child. I was a lost soul. I look back on it. I frown upon it. That's different. I think that's a woman that you can entertain being with. Absolutely. Because that's somebody who's grown up. That's somebody, you have to give people room to grow and to do better. But if you're talking to a woman and she's like, oh, yeah, my 304 phase, that was fantastic. Oh, yeah, I slept with a whole bunch of bad boys. That was just me learning what I liked. I needed to learn what I liked in the bedroom and didn't like. You couldn't learn what you liked and didn't like with a guy that you really cared about? Nasty. You're dealing with a red flag girl. If you like the short clip and want to watch another short clip, click here. Or if you want to watch the full episode, click right here.